So, what we're going to be looking at today is how to build a fishing rod. Before we can start building a fishing rod, we should know a little bit about the components that go into making one. So first we're going to start left to right. So first thing we got there is the handle, and that's simply just what you hold on to while you're fishing. And in between the sections of the handle, we actually have the reel seat. That's actually where you attach your fishing reel. Nice and self-explanatory. Then you have the hook keeper, which isn't on all rods, but a lot of modern rods have them. That's just where you put your fishing lure, you put your hook there while you are currently not fishing. So it's just easy to transport it. And we got the blink, so that's actually the rod itself. And then if you look a little bit further, we got the guides, and so that's actually what the line goes through when you cast it, which helps you with accuracy and keeps it clean and tidy. And then you got the tip, which is just the final guide. It's just put it on a little bit differently so it's distinct and unique. So here we're going to be looking at some of the pieces we'll actually need. So we got our handle kit. We got a rod blank that we got. got a nice lovely rod blank. We're actually making an ultra light rod and you see the specs of the rod. Only rated to two to four pound line, so it's a real light rod. Our handle kit right there. Our tip, our eyelids, and our hook keeper. We've got our tools over here, along with our thread. We're gonna put this lovely color on there. So we've got razor blades, popsicle sticks, a china marker, a brush, a pick tool, and a pourer. We got our adhesives we'll need. We got our wrapping station, and then we got our rotating station for when we apply the epoxy. So now we're gonna be finding the spine. The spine's very important because it is the way your rod flexes. A lot of store-bought rods actually don't have the eyelets aligned along the spine. So this is a real good way to actually make a rod better than what you'd buy in stores. The first thing we'll do is we're gonna put a little tape flag on it, which just makes it a little bit easier to find the spine, as you can see. A little bit of a flag so we can see the motion when we're rotating it. So what we do to actually find the spine is that you'll grab a little china marker or a wax pencil and then you'll put your hand up on the top of the blank and then put your other hand up towards the bottom. You only want to be about a quarter from the top, about a quarter from the bottom. You actually put one hand, that bottom hand and you actually just kind of rotate it. We're looking, you're kind of feeling for a little pop. So in a certain spot on the blank, you're spinning it, it'll actually pop. When it pops into place, you can see right there, that's where you know where the backbone is. And since we're making a spinning reel, we're gonna want our we'll mark on the inside of the bend, so we're actually making a spinning rod. Making a casting rod, you wanna put it on the outside of the bend. Let's mark it down there with our little grease pen, and we'll move on to the next step. So the main reason we actually find the spine is because it makes the rod perform better. It actually gives you a lot more action to the rod, which means the rod does a lot of the uh, fighting the fish for you. And you don't have to rely on your drag as much, or you don't have to rely on your muscle power as much. So getting a good spine found is really important, and it also helps the rod from snapping when you're catching a fish, because it bends the way the rod wants to bend, instead of against the way the rod wants to bend. But if you have any questions or want to learn more, check out our other videos on rod building or leave a comment below.